Hello everyone. As you know, my name is Daniel Fernandez. I'm the owner of scienceinhydroponics.com. And today I am going to be talking about a topic that several of you have requested, which is the topic of CalMag supplements. So today I am going to talk about what these supplements are and how they are usually made in the industry and how you can make one of your own. So CalMax supplements are a group of supplements that are normally composed of calcium, of course, magnesium, but they also have nitrogen and they also have iron. So this is the common makeup of a CalMax supplement. They contain these things. So generally, they will tell you that CalMax supplements are made to combat calcium-magnesium uh, deficiency. By, but because they also have nitrogen and iron, they, they can also help with N and, N and FE problems. So they will also help you with both nitrogen and iron problems if you add CalMax. Many times though, CalMax supplements are used to fix issues that have nothing to do with either calcium, magnesium, nitrogen, or iron deficiency, but that have to do with inadequate pH in the media. Particularly when people let the pH climb too much in their media, CalMag can fix this problem. This is why in some flowering plants, that have longer crop cycles, people will notice issues that will be solved by CalMax supplements that actually have nothing to do with calcium or magnesium. If you did an analysis of tissue, you, you would see that calcium and magnesium values are normal, but you would see a deficiency. Now, let's talk a little bit about the makeup of these nutrients, what it's actually the proportion that these things are in. So if we had a pie chart representing the composition of the CalMax supplement, we would see that the majority of this composition will be calcium, or of the composition on the label, I mean. A lot of this will be calcium. Then we will have fairly equally divided magnesium and nitrogen, usually nitrogen present as nitrate, and we will have this small sliver, which will be iron, which is usually about 10 times less than the nitrogen or the magnesium. So you have a small amount of iron because it's a micronutrient, a lot of calcium, a lot of, well, around one fifth to one fourth of the amount of magnesium. And then nitrogen is usually fairly equal to the magnesium if like sometimes two thirds of the magnesium. So let's talk about what the typical label is like. So let's talk about like what the typical label of a CalMax supplement is like. So normally we will have something like 1% of nitrogen as nitrate. We will have around 1.5% magnesium, 5% calcium. So you can see here that they have a lot of calcium. And we have usually 0.1% as iron. So usually this is also magnesium plus two and this iron is iron plus two. So this is the typical composition of a CalMag label. Like you'll find variations of this, but usually it's something like this in these proportions. Now, it is interesting to note that if you look at the things that we have here, we have one anion and we have three cations. So how do you actually get a makeup like this? Manufacturers will usually tell us it's magnesium nitrate and it's an iron chelate, normally iron DTPA. It's calcium nitrate and perhaps some other thing like, for example, calcium gluconate. If you looked at these proportions, at these, um, at these chemicals, and you try to come up with this, you will quickly find out that it's impossible because the ratios just do not work. So you would need to add a lot more nitrate to make this work. Additionally, when you try to use something as calcium gluconate, 
you will find out that the solubility of the calcium gluconate is not enough to get enough calcium. So you would not be able to reverse engineer something, assuming that it only has these, um, these salts in it. Now I'm going to tell you how you can actually make it. So let's talk about if you were going to do a formulation for a typical CalMac, not necessarily any particular product, but what like most of these CalMacs would be like. So a CalMac, if you used a CalMac like this, a one milliliter per liter of a CalMac product with this composition would give you 10 ppms of N. You would have 15 ppms of magnesium. You would have 50 ppms of calcium and you would have one ppm of iron. So this would be like a one milliliter per liter application rate or around uh, 3.7 milliliters per gallon. So how can we make something that has a similar composition or like exactly this composition? So what I would do is I would use 70 grams per liter of calcium nitrate. This is like your Yara, a greenhouse grade, fertigation grade calcium nitrate. Then you would have nine grams per liter of iron DTPA. And then instead of using magnesium nitrate, we are going to use some of the salts that are most typically used in these products, which we would use 145 grams per liter of calcium acetate. And we would have 88 grams per liter of magnesium acetate. Both of these salts are very soluble and you would be able to make a solution with these concentrations using these salts and you would achieve exactly these proportions and exactly these ppms when you use it. Now acetate is, and the acetate ion is pretty particular in the sense that plants do very limited uptake of acetate ions in studies that have been done with carbon-14 and in another video that will be coming up about carbon in hydroponics, you'll see that the acetate ion is not really taken up by plants very aggressively. So what we have here is that we have an excess of cations and we don't have the equivalent amount of anions that the plant can uptake. So CalMac products will usually cause drops in pH because of this when after they are added. And this compensates um, cases where the media has very high pH that has nothing to do with either calcium or magnesium deficiencies at all, but just the fact that we're adding a supplement that has a strong cation to an ion imbalance from the point of plant uptake causes this effect. Well, I hope this video showed you how you can prepare a CalMax supplement using some readily available salts. It shows you how to achieve the main characteristics of a CalMax how to get calcium, magnesium, nitrogen, and iron, and how to get the anion to cation imbalance from the point of plant uptake that gives these CalMac products the properties that they normally have. You will also see some of these CalMac products might have other salts different than acetate, but acetates achieve the purpose for like a generic CalMac formulation. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Please, please like and subscribe. I'll see you on the next one and bye-bye.